right, day one down. Coffee's finished. Video's uploading. Let's get back to work here. All right, so we want to take the mattress back out. I'm gonna paint these walls just to get rid of the ugly seams. One color, I think I need a little piece of trim right here. Let's do this. And, and that piece of plywood needs paint or something. That was under the bed. So my original plan was to use all this for tool storage under the bed, but that never worked out. Instead, I used my passenger seat you can see that up front there for my tool storage and I put this window so you can use the rear view mirror and hopefully look out this window but that doesn't work either all right let's get to work uh oh I uh oh it's off to work we go let's go put on some painting clothes so we don't ruin our good stuff all right I'm in my finest painting clothes first Let's go do some breakfast. I'm getting hungry. Breakfast. Let's make us some pork roll, egg, and cheese. Let's get this pan heated up. Tailored ham. get it slicing but I do what I can Look at those. Starting to turn into Pac-Man. They need a little more browning than that. But there's the little Pac-Man shape. Chomp, 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 chomp. Now they're starting to get a little color. A little bit longer. All right, there's our pork roll. Let's get our eggs. These are Eggland's best. I don't know what that means, but I'm sure there's some fine eggs. Alright, hopefully they didn't stick. I call this over rough. Like right under the egg. And then right away, put on your cheese. Here's our nice bread. Unfortunately, this is day old bread because I bought it yesterday with sliced bread from, from a bag, you know, your regular, uh, this type of bread. It's not a big deal because they put in preservatives. But when you get this bakery fresh bread, there's no preservatives, so unfortunately, it tastes like day old bread a day later. Okay, here's our sandwich. Put on our pork roll. All right, we need our salt, pepper. Most importantly, ketchup. Let's see if we can cut this in half without destroying our sandwich. Oh, look at that. Perfect. There's our morning breakfast. Let's give this a try. So you gotta pop the yolk at the last minute, but you still get all the yolk goodness without it exploding when you take a bite. 
That's good. That's real good. Finished breakfast. We're going to get to work. Today is... Today's Memorial Day. And, uh... I know every day is Memorial Day. All I did was study history and understand what went on to make this the greatest nation on earth. And it really bugs me when people say, oh, America never was great or bull crap. They never studied history. They don't know the brutality of mankind. That's the truth. Look, English settlers came over here. They found this gigantic country filled with resources. There were Native American Indians. And by the way, Native American Indians aren't offended by the word Indian. Let, don't let the media fool you. They're proud of their name. And I, I, you know, I grew up watching cowboy pictures. I always rooted for the Indians. I thought they were fantastic. And I always wanted to know them better and I wish there were more of them. Anyway, Indians were at a constant state of war. They didn't live in society. They were mobile always fighting for territory, always fighting over the limited resources, which were wild game and wild edibles. And uh, like I said, then the white man came, set up camps, colonies, and oftentimes came across these Indians and, and they just didn't know each other. And that's the way all these fights start. I, I grew up on the streets and it was always fighting somebody I didn't know. You didn't know how to react around them, so you act big and bad and you, you end up getting in a fight. Anyway. Human nature. And that's the other thing that bugs me. People say, can't we all just get along? When has that ever happened? That has never happened in the history of mankind. We can't even all agree on one language or one system of measurements. We're still torn between the old English uh, sta American standard, which it's called now, and metric system. And we can't even pick a language. So, no, we're never going to get along. That has never happened. Probably never will. To think it would be, would be delusional right mental illness just to put it mildly so anyway um, the English settlers came here and there's great resources and they were making money they were doing things they, they established a colony great nation here and the king ever wanted more and more and more and what the king would do was put people in charge people of favor so if you if the king you were in good friends with the king he would give you a huge hunk of America like, I was in the archives of Monmouth County, New Jersey, and the Lord Morris was his name. I forget his first name. He got favor from the king, and the king gave him Monmouth County, and he named it after his home in Monmouthshire. And his job was to collect the taxes, and now he could keep a percentage of all the taxes he collected. This is horrible. So, first of all, he's only put in charge because he's friends with the king. He probably did some political favors. And his goal he only gets to keep a piece of the of the wealth that he collects taxes so he's ever finding more and more ways to tax that's where we get the no taxation without representation these people they were just given power and you can't give people power so and then what mood are they in they can just be in a bad mood and say off with your head or hang them and that's like what would happen so this was no way to live and and the People who came here were Christians. They, they were trying to escape England for religious freedom, for just to be free. And here's this oppressive king, this, this horrible government, form of government. So they all got together and they started talking, look, we have the Bible. There, there's one ultimate authority. That one is a loving God. And they knew this. And they knew how between good and evil, plus the right to defend yourself, because there are bad people. You need to defend yourself. And uh, that's where they came up with the uh, life, liberty, and a pursuit of happiness. Nobody should be taking those three away. In other words, nobody should be imposing their will upon you. And if they do, they lose the rights to all three. That's in the Constitution. That's why you could be shot or hanged or... And there were no laws. Even when this country... Well, the, the, we declared our independence from England. We were tired of this, this tyrannical king, just whatever mood he was in, and these tyrannical governors that owned these pieces of land. So we declared our independence, and there was a lot of opposition, and uh, it was just an unfair government. It was all done on political favor, and not what you know, but who you know. 
So uh, we declared our independence and it was a great war. And America, these little colonies, went to war with the most powerful nation on earth, England. And they won. So, you know, that's faith. So that's how we got where we are today. And that's why I say it's Memorial Day. You're supposed to remember these people who sacrificed all so we could have a good life. And then, of course, uh, World War I broke out. And that, again, was, was Germany trying to take over Europe and trying to oppose its will on Europe. And, you know, you just cannot oppose, impose your will on others. That's what the Constitution's all about. Well, you're free to make up your own decisions. You're free to do what you want. That's why we have a free press. The free press is supposed to tell on you. So if I'm polluting this lake while I'm making this product for you to buy, by the way, that's capitalism, the best possible product at the most affordable price. That's why everything we used to have was so good and so cheap. But that all got perverted by by businessmen. And it's a businessman's job to make money. It's Congress' job to protect we the people. It's supposed to be a Congress by the people for the people. That's not true. First of all, they're all lawyers. None of them ever had a real job in their lives. And I don't want to say all of them. I'm just saying 99% of them, the bulk of them. They don't know what it's like to till the fields. They don't know what it's like to build a house. They don't know what it's like to fix a roof in the hot Florida sun. They don't know how to fix their own cars. You see what I'm saying? So they don't care. They have their little, all they know is they lived a privileged life, they went to a privileged school, and then they want to bark at all of us saying, oh, you're racist and all this. Bullshit. They'll accuse you of what they're afraid of the most, themselves. That's the truth. And I see it when somebody screams racist. I get it. That's because you are scared to death of black people and you cannot get over that fact. I'm not scared of black people. I grew up in a black neighborhood. They're people just like anybody else. They bleed red and they cry tears. They have emotions. They're just people. All men are created equal. So, I, I understand we need to carry these messages and we need to put people... It's our job to reassure. To reassure. That's why we say I love you so much. We need to reassure that all the time. And, uh, you know, I don't love everyone. It's impossible. I can only love the people that are closest to me. And, uh, but I can empathize with everyone. You know what I mean? They're all going through the same emotions that I'm going through. And just understanding helps. And uh, Memorial Day, you know, we went through World War II and it's probably involved the entire earth. And, uh, you know, we got to remember these people so we could be free and uh, live these great lives in this great country. And, uh, you know, we're supposed to be an example to the world. That's how this democracy works. And uh, these fearless leaders of ours that are uh, robbing us blind and their children are working for foreign energy companies and they cut off our own domestic energy so they can rake in tremendous profits from elsewhere. You see what I'm saying? So it's all corrupt and they're all in it together. You know, uh, we're supposed to have this free, fair press that tells the truth. You want to know who controls the press? Watch the commercials. That's who controls the press. Their only interest today is to get you to tune in so they can tell, sell commercial slots. They're not informing people. As a matter of fact, they become part of the problem. They become, uh, if they're not explaining the truth to you or presenting you with facts, what they're doing is called propaganda. So they're telling you one-sided lies or twisted stories or they'll they'll say little things like this could have the effect of Donald Trump is going to ruin the economy so they downplay the the little omission that this could then they upplay the this is the end of the world you know the world's gonna end at 10 tune in at 11 for details and film so they're fear mongers. They're playing on your fear. And that's why they hate God so much. Because God preaches, do not be afraid. God has a plan for you. What is your worrying going to do for you? Nothing. Worrying has never helped me. I need to have faith that everything's going to be okay. I'm doing the right thing. I'm doing the best I can do. Even if bad stuff happens to me. That's not in my control. You see, it's faith. So... Uh, utopia, it's not a place. 
Utopia is a state of mind. And this is my beautiful utopia. My present surroundings. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. So, let me finish breakfast. And we're going to get to work. Alright, let's do some painting. I'm just going to paint section at a time. Move only what I have to move. Let it dry. Start again. So it's going to take some time. But we're going to make it happen. Let's just do this. Right, we got some leftover paint. Nice shade of gray. It's the emerald. Good stuff. Put some paint on these walls. Now let's coat one for this section. Now I'll move everything from this side and paint it. <coughs> I think I'm just going to paint everything this light gray. <clears throat> I should probably mix up enough paint to make sure. Because it's probably going to take two and a half gallons. Eh, I think two gallons. But that raw plywood underneath, that's going to suck up a lot of paint. Now we'll see. I'll get one whole coat on. I'll see how much paint I have left. How much more I think. I still gotta finish these walls that I took apart. Still got plenty of work. But we're gonna let this paint dry overnight. I'm gonna go sleep on the back porch. How old are you, Caden? 11. 11 year old. You know this, this Rad Chevrolet is over 300 wild horsepowers, right? Yeah. And over 300 torques. Yeah. Put the key in. That's it, now that'll warm up. Roll your window down so I can close the door. You're gonna have to slide your seat all the way forward, I think. The handle's down here. It's too close -ish. You need to be able to reach the pedals fully. No, my foot's cramped against the brake. All right, now mash the brake down as hard as you can. Not as hard as you can. It doesn't take all your might. Just make sure it's fully down. Now grab the shifter and put it in R. It's the shifter, right? Yeah. Pull it in towards you. Right, and down. There, you're in R. Now just let out the brake. You don't have to give it any gas. It's going to roll all by itself. Keep rolling. Check both mirrors. All three mirrors. All right, and stop. All right, now put it in D. Keep your foot on the brake and give it a little gas, just a little. All right, now snap off the brake and you'll launch. All right, whoa, 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 you spun wheels. All right, pull up, pull up. <laughs> right there, stop. All right, put it in park. You yeah, might have to come back. Yeah, that's good. All right, kill it. Look what you did. I can't believe you spun wheels. <laughs> Kick dirt in the drive and the street. Yo, hot rod. All right, grab that key. Oh, you gotta roll the window up first. Turn the key on. We're gonna get copyrighted for this music. You know that, right? All right. Who said that? Who did that? <laughs> All right, you ready for this? All right, let's take a run to the market. See what's for dinner. Must be trash night. A whole lot of trash out. What's it gonna be for dinner? Chicken, beef, pork, seafood. I don't know. Let's just go walk up and down every aisle and pick something. <laughs> There's our favorite creek. <laughs> well, it's definitely trash, eh? Had to stop and take a look at this. My favorite Chevy van. 
boogie van. Very cool. Orlando Street Vans. Very cool, that's my favorite. I've had a couple of Chevy Vans. Dinner's in the oven. The latest episode of Obi-Wan. Hope I don't get copyrighted. But uh, I'll see you tomorrow.